I had a question come up recently about uh, witnessing to other people's children. Okay, I've seen this thing a lot of times. You'll see you jack chicks things and whatever else, and they'll say, you know, I, I led my four-year-old neighbor, you know, my neighbor's four-year-old child to the Lord with this gospel tract or something like this. And these little tiny, you know, toddlers and stuff led them to the Lord, you know, and things. Um, I have a whole thing about the, the danger of childhood conversions. A child under the age of accountability is not going to understand that they've sinned against a holy, righteous God. They're not going to understand the implications of that. Uh, Sunday school conversions and things like that are false. Uh, I don't believe in those for one second. Again, I was a victim of one of those. Um, I didn't understand. I had no idea. And uh, But the question comes up with that. Okay, then what do you do? You have a young child, you're teaching them about the Lord and things like that, and they say, I want to be saved. What do you do? Proverbs chapter 22, verse 6, one of the most famous verses on this whole issue of children, says, Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. Um, have you potty trained your child yet? You say, well, of course I've done that. Why? So that you can help them go to the bathroom by themselves, okay? You don't want to be changing diapers when they're 25 years old or something like that. You train them when they're young. You potty train them to help them out later on in life. You're teaching them life skills. Do you teach a child how to eat by themselves? Yes, you do. Why? So that they are, you're setting them up for life where they can continue to feed themselves, you see. Uh, my advice to you if you're a Christian parent out there and you have children that are under the age of accountability, train them about salvation. Train them that God is the one that can forgive sins. But the danger comes when you tell them that they have had some kind of a conversion experience, you've led them in some kind of a prayer, and you say, you're saved, you're a Christian. That's dangerous. There's a lot of people that have had some kind of a conversion experience as a young child. They had no idea what they're doing. They're just, you know, I want to please mommy. I want to please daddy. I want to please my Sunday school teacher or my preacher or whatever else. And uh, they have no idea what they're doing. And they'll, they'll hold on to that thing. I got saved when I was two years old. You know, whatever else. That's dangerous. And if you are a Christian and you have some neighborhood child or something like that, absolutely talk about the Lord. But... Don't try to get them to pray some kind of a prayer. That, I don't agree with that. And, you know, it's, it's a thing that's becoming more and more prevalent to myself and my wife because our son is getting older and he's, you know, talking a little bit about the Bible and, and things and, and he's starting to get very inquisitive and he wants to hold a Bible and he wants to carry around the Bible and look at the Bible and everything else. You know, he's going to be three years old soon. I'm not going to lead him in some kind of a prayer. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to teach him about the things of the Lord so that when he's old, older, and he says, okay, I've sinned against God, he's going to know what to do to solve that problem. He's going to know who to go to. You see. Teach your child. Immerse them in the Scriptures and say, son, daughter, Jesus died for sinners. Jesus died for you. And someday when you understand that, you come to Jesus for salvation. You don't go to church. You don't go and, and be part of some religion or get baptized or speak in tongues or take the sacraments or something like that. You come to Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the one who will save you. you. Say, well, can I do it now? Well, I don't think that you understand it at this point. What I need you to understand is how Jesus died for sinners. And let's look at the Bible. Let's read the Bible and let's go through and things like that. It's perfectly fine for a child to understand about God. Perfectly fine for a child even to understand about witnessing to somebody. You go up to somebody and say, you know, uh, I know a sister, a friend of, of mine, and she said, you know, that her daughter's going up all the time and saying to people, do you know God? You know, praise the Lord for that. That's fine. They can understand as adults that there's something there. And a lot of times they aren't going to mouth off a little child. They're going to be like, Oh, you know, in that innocence, that little child can sometimes really get, that can be the thing that gets through to them and pricks their heart and their conscience. All right? But for a young child, you got to be real careful. 
Um, I would not personally lead some young child that's under the age of accountability. Uh, and, you know, that's going to vary too. I get asked that, you know, what is the age of accountability? Well, that's going to vary from child to child. Most people would say right around 10 years old. I don't know. It's when that child is able to have their conscience to the point where they're making their own decisions of right and wrong and they can understand, hey, that was not actually just sinning and doing wrong and getting in trouble with dad and mom. I actually have sinned against God and I deserve to go to hell at this point in time. And they cry out to God for mercy. Why? Because they have that as their history. They can say, I was raised knowing that the Bible was true and that Jesus died for sinners. And when you're in trouble, you come to God and you pray to God. And you ask God to forgive you. See? Uh, so just, you know, I'm not going to get into a big study because I already did on the whole childhood conversions, why they're false. Um, you know, you see atheists all the time. Oh, I grew up Christian. You know, I was a Christian as a little child. And now I hate God and I don't believe in God and whatever else. They're the victim of a childhood conversion. They went to some vacation Bible school or some kind of a thing, and uh, they got brainwashed into believing that uh, they could understand salvation, and it was all fake. It was false. Um, and they went back to their secular life, but I'm a Christian because I prayed the prayer at some point in time there with the vacation Bible school or whatever else. Easy believism. And the time comes that they get older and they say, oh, this is stupid, I'm not going to go to that church anymore or whatever else, and they leave it. So my advice to, to parents out there with uh, children is raise them with the Bible, raise them to understand that they can go to God with any problem that they have and they can talk to Him about it, and raise them to understand that Jesus Christ died for their sins, And but don't lead them in some kind of a prayer and say, you're saved, you're a Christian now. Uh, that's that's dangerous. Uh, childhood conversions are a bad, bad thing. So that would be the way I would answer that question. Um, so hopefully that answers your question.